This training DVD is the first of a two-part series produced by the Fredericton Aikido Dojo, located in Fredericton, New Brunswick, Canada. Use it as a guide to your training in Aikido. <laughs> now we look at the basic stance in Aikido, which is the hand me stance. I'll ask one of my students here who doesn't have a hakama, so you'll better see the movement of the feet. Please, Rob. To practice the hand me stance, I've developed an exercise where you point your foot forward, both feet forward, the width of the hips, okay? You move your left foot out, could be the right, but we'll do the left now. Straighten the back leg, turn the hips forward, and make sure your front leg is bent so that the knee is above the center of the foot, okay? You move back, try the other side, foot forward, straighten your back leg, bend your front knee so when you look down you only see your toes without bending your body over. Turn the hips forward. Try to stretch the mat between your feet. Once again, Okay, now we can put the hands on the hips so we can exaggerate the movement a little bit. When we go out with the left foot, the body is facing towards the corner. As we get into the stance, we lower our bodies a bit and turn the hips so the hands are facing forward. Once more, the other side. One and two. Now, we'll do it with the low guard, medium guard, and high guard. Actually, we'll just do it with the medium guard, but I'd like you to know that there are three different guards. One where the hands are around the navel. Both hands are aligned with the center of the body. The other where they're at a medium position around heart level. Palms turned outward. And the third towards the uh, top of the head. Fingers always pointing forward, as if you want to pierce the sky. Okay, so low guard, medium guard, and high guard. Now we're going to do this exercise we just did with the medium guard. I'll show you. First, one, two, and back, hands to the side, and one, two, and back. With Rob, okay, one, two, and one, Good. Thank you very much. Notice how we bow uh, when we practice with a partner. Okay? Now we move on to some basic foot movements. The uh, Irimi, Tenkan, and Tenchi movements. Okay? And I'll ask all of my uh, four students here, uh, Sambat, Sean, Rob, and Todd, to work on this exercise with me. Please stand up and move back a little bit to an angle, okay? We'll first of all get into the hand me stance, okay? I'll lift my hakama so you can see better. And we'll do the irimi, basically which is releasing the pressure, the weight off the front foot. So it slides forward on the mat and then releasing, transferring the weight to the front foot, releasing the weight on the back so that one slides forward also. Then we do the opposite. Release the weight on the back foot, slide, release the weight on the front foot and slide again. So one and two. Now the hands help in this movement. Okay. You can do it this way here with the hands down as an exercise. But for today I'd like you to do it with the medium guard. Bringing the hands down to the side, projecting them outward to the medium guard. Okay, let's do it all together. One, two, three, four, and change legs. And one, two, three, four. Okay, left leg forward. Now we're going to do, that was irimi movement. 
Now we're going to do the ten-can movement. Ten-can movement is a pivoting movement and a stepping movement backwards. That's the ten-can movement. Now we go back to where we were and start over again. A pivoting movement and back. There are a few things you must remember when you do it. Keep your body straight, your head up, scan the room with your eyes. Pivot on the balls of the feet, lifting the heels very slightly, but don't let any air get in under your feet because you're sliding on the mat, okay? Pivot on the balls of the feet, and at the end here, turn on the heel. Make sure your front knee is bent. Make sure your back leg is almost straight, your hips are forward. Then go in an arc backwards. Keep your hips forward, and start again. Okay, it's called ten can. We'll do it with the medium guard, and as we go down, we bring the hands in front, as if we're holding something in front of us, and palms upward. Both hands are equidistant, okay? I'll do it from this end. Medium guard. Okay, let's try it. One. Two, three, change guards, one, two, three, that's good, very good. Now that's simple ten can, okay? Now for the last move, we're going to do a tenshi movement. The tenshi movement, I step backwards off the center line, okay? Let's say this is a, a straight line coming right through my body. As I step back, I cross that line over to the other side. I go to the right, then I do the same thing on the left, okay? Once again, make sure you keep your energy forward. Keep your mind attentive where the action is, okay? Someone's coming towards you from the front. Keep your mind active. Keep your energy forward. Proper hand me stance. Now, notice how the feet are shuffling. I go back, the feet shuffles a bit, the front foot shuffles a bit to compensate for my movement, okay? The same thing here, but it shuffles even more on the other side. I bring it over a little bit also to the left. Okay, to make sure I keep my center, keep my balance. Okay, we'll all do it all together. Left foot forward. The hands are, sorry, down to the side first. And as you step back, you bring them up into a medium guard. Okay, one. One. We're going to the right, left, right, left, right, left. Good, okay. And we're going to practice these on a one arm grab or a wrist grab, which is called Katatatori, okay? We'll practice the irimi, which is a shuffle, shuffle. He grabs my other hand, shuffle, shuffle. He grabs my other hand, changing his guard. Make sure both hands are activated, okay? Don't keep one hand in the back. Keep them both in front. So this is a two-man practice, a two-person practice with Irimi. Okay, let's move over here a little bit, just there. Okay, now we're going to do the ten-can movement on the same grab. Okay, I'm going to shuffle in first, a little Irimi, so my front foot is, my toes are at the same distance as my partner's. Bring the hands in front as I did before. Pivot around, bring the foot back, extend the hands and the eyes forward. Go back. Notice how my partner drops his elbow so he can keep holding on.
Now, you can leave his other hand to the side or we can bring it up for protection. Like this here. Just in case someone decides to turn and punch, okay? So you shuffle in and hear me? Pivot, step back. Shuffle in, pivot, step back. Okay, now the last movement we're going to study for the uh, first yellow stripe is the Ten Chi movement. Okay, we did the Irimi, Ten Can, now we do Ten Chi. He grabs my wrist again, I step back with my front foot, crossing over the center line, bringing the hands in front. Then I go to the other side, so I can practice both left and right. And here we go, now let's change. So you can see the other side, okay, one. See how he's falling off balance? I'm getting him ready for a technique. Once I steal his balance, it's easy to throw. Okay, let's do it slowly again. Stepping back, crossing over the center line, bringing the hands in front, okay? And crossing over it the other way. Keeping the energy in front, good. In Aikido, it's very important to learn how to take yukimi or how to take a fall and how to attack properly. Uh, we learn all kinds of different attacks, all kinds of different ways of falling, break falls, any way imaginable. Uh, we first start learning uh, back, back break fall to help you gain greater flexibility in your back. Sean? And I'll show you why, okay? Basically, your feet are together, okay? About a hips width apart, toes pointing forward. I'm asking him to arch his back first and then to collapse his stomach area and to sit almost onto the mat. Keeps his head in, round out, he's gonna round out his back as much as possible. He rolls down and hits the mat. Good, again. And he also, once he's down rolling, he kicks his feet outward to give him momentum to roll up onto his shoulders. Here, good. You breathe in and out. Make sure to keep your chin in to look down towards your belt as you go down. And one more. He stretches and Sean. Sean will help us by showing the, come on over here, showing the back roll. Come on over here more, more closer to me, yeah. Okay, keep your hands in front please. Oh, okay, for the uh, beginner's level, you, you can keep your arm to the side to gain balance to help you gain balance, and you bring your head down towards which side now, towards the, okay. He's bringing his head down towards the side that the, where the leg is, um, is farther back, see? This leg here means you should have a space open here. Bring this hand up, okay? This hand is out for balance. It's not your usual positioning, it should be in the front, okay? But for the beginners, uh, we recommend you do it to help you learn the technique, okay? So now he gives himself a bit of momentum. He's going to roll over his back foot. Bring your, your foot closer to me, yeah. He's gonna roll over his back foot, okay? Go ahead, exhale. Okay, turn, come back the other way. Turn, okay, come back the other way. Let's go ahead, yeah. Now don't bring your leg through. Go straight, that's it. Turn one more. He's not bringing his leg through, he's keeping it there. Good, okay. Now he's gonna stay in that same position and do the front roll, okay. In the front roll, it's almost the same, but you're going in the opposite direction. Keep your elbow up, okay. Hand well extended, both hands well extended, almost like an arc, okay. You're going through, the hand that is farther forward is the same hand as the leg, okay. Leg and hand work together, okay. He's gonna push himself forward with his back foot, Roll continuously on the arm, okay, across the back. There shouldn't be any place where he falls onto the mat. He is moving himself forward onto the mat and is going to have contact with it throughout the roll. He brings his head in as he goes, as he goes forward and breathes out. Go ahead. Okay, a bit slower. Again, turn the, turn the other way, please. And one more. Good, okay. Thank you, can you sit down please? Like Sambat to come up? Sambat is going to uh, do shiko for us, okay? Shiko is uh, where you walk on your knees, 
Okay, the, uh, if you can turn around, please, face me, so I can show them your feet. See, the, uh, he's sitting on his heels, and his toes are curled under. Please, can you get up? Good. Okay, now turn around again. He's going to bring one knee up and keep his feet together. Go ahead. Bring the knee down. Pivot on the knee or just above the knee. That's it. Go ahead. Do it for a few minutes. A few seconds. Again. And again. Now turn towards me. Okay, he brings the knee up. And you notice how the feet are, the feet are always together. He brings his knee down. He pivots on the knee. Okay, and once again, feet are together. And here, if you notice how there's an angle, okay, his leg isn't straight. Bring it up again. It isn't straight, like this here. He won't be able to move forward if his leg is straight like this. It overextends him. He has to keep it in on the ball of the foot. Then his knee goes down, he uses the hips. This is very good for developing hip power. Once again, good, please. That's called shigo. Okay, now we're going to do a few movement exercises. We've learned how to uh, back break fall, how to back roll and front roll and, and, and walk on our knees. It's called shiko. Now we're going to do uh, uh, a, a few foot movements. And the first one is irimi and a pivot. Okay, previously we've done irimi. Now I want to concentrate on shuffling forward and pivoting and shuffling and pivoting because a lot of techniques require this particular movement. The hips come into play. You shuffle forward using the hips. You turn the back foot so that you're facing the other way. I call it irimi with a pivot. Okay. The other movement I would like to show you at this particular level is double ten can. We've done simple ten can where you pivot off the front foot, extend both hands, okay, from the medium guard. We're going to do the same thing, but we're going to step first, then pivot back. And we're going to use a slightly different hand movement, okay? We're going to bring the hands up into a high guard. As we step, pivot, step back, and bring the hands down again. So one, two, three. Notice also how the feet are mobile, okay? I'm always shuffling, pivoting, shuffling, shuffling, pivoting, shuffling. The hips here should be facing forward. Then I start over again. Hips facing forward, okay? And one. Two, three, four, five, and six. Good. That's double ten can. Now we'll continue with uh, my partner Sambat and do exercises uh, that are done usually with two people. We're going to practice the foot movements that we were doing a while ago, or some of them, uh, on a grab, a shoulder grab. Please, Sambat. It's called katatori. Okay, he has the shoulder and I'm going to do irimi first, where I shuffle and shuffle, bringing one hand down and one hand up. One hand down as I shuffle towards the side of the person, you see? I'm no longer in the front. Okay, let's try it on the other side. And one, two, one hand down and one up. Hear me. Now I'll do the same movement and a pivot afterwards, okay? I'll bring the hand up here above the arm, easier to do. So I'm doing eerie me now with a pivot. We just studied that movement, okay? Eerie me. Notice how now I'm facing him. I'm in front. Now I'm over to the side. I've shuffled to the side and we're both facing in the same direction. Okay, please. One, eerie me with a pivot. Eerie me with a pivot. Good. And one more, because the camera is zooming in here. Good, okay. Now we're going to do with the same grab. 
We've done irimi, and irimi with a pivot. We're going to do tenkan. In tenkan, I shuffle so to the side so that the toes are at the same level. Okay, pivot and step back. Bringing the hands up. Other side. Shuffle, pivot, step back. Shuffle, pivot, step back. Keeping your head up, your back straight. Imagine someone's hauling from the top of your head. And look above the arms. Way afar, okay? Shuffle, pivot, and step back. Practicing ten can. The last movement, ten chi. He grabs the shoulders once again. I step back, crossing the center line into ten chi. Going one side and going to the other side. Okay? And bringing the hands up front into a medium guard. Okay, over here. We'll try the other side and the other shoulder to the right, to the left. For this level, we're going to study the techniques, some techniques, in Yaiku Hanmi, so that the grab is on the same side, okay? We're going to do, first of all, Shionage, which is the four corners throw. I'm going to walk forward with the back leg, okay? Bring both of my hands in front, grab his wrist at this point, lift up his body a little bit by pressuring under the arm, Okay, making a space for me to go into. I go into that space, get very small. The arm is touching my body as I go through, my head is down. And when I come out the other end, I make myself very big. And he rolls down into a break fall. Side break fall, okay? So, first of all, I look where I'm going, turn my hips in that direction, bring my hands in front, keep them in front of my body. Step one, grab the wrist, make some space for me to go through. Step two, now notice how the hand, his arm is going to slide up my arm across the back, okay, and down the other arm. He keeps his elbow close towards his head, so this doesn't happen here. This is dangerous unless you know how to break fall. So you have to keep your elbow in close. I bring his hand towards his shoulder. Extend my arms out and down. One, two, three, four. And one, two, three, and four. Okay? That's Shionagi. I can also, from this point here, the Omote version, I can do the Ura version. Shuffled in, ten can around, and down. Okay. Instead of walking through, I am ten canning around and down. One more. One, two, and down. Okay. When he grabs, it's almost like a punch. So he's pushing in ever so slightly, okay? So I can accept that movement, take advantage of it to break his balance. Todd now will help me continue with this series of techniques on the one hand grab, okay? And we're going to do the koku throw or the breath throw. We step forward as before, keeping both hands in front, okay? Lowering the body. But instead of stepping in front of the person now, we're going to step behind. Nice and deep. So the person's head here is right next to your arm. And turn your hips forward. Now he rolls out. Good. Other side. He grabs your, your arm, is pushing slightly. Step forward, step in the back, and down. Just go straight down until a break fall, okay? One, and Okay, step one here, step this way, and down this way. I step forward, the hips 
are facing forward now, but as I step in front, they're facing more towards the right, more towards the front of the person, okay? I lower my stance and I step way behind, keeping the arms extended and turn the hip forward. Make sure you keep your balance. One and two. Good, please sit down. So that was kokyu or breath throw, okay? Now we'll continue on the same grab with iriminagi, okay? And we're going to do the same grab, but with a different technique, okay? We did shonagi in front of the body, double step. We did kokyu in front of the body also, but stepping behind, okay? Now we're going to do iriminagi. Iriminagi, I'm going to do it slightly different now. Instead of going in the front of the body, I'm going to break away by bringing the thumb towards my face and I'm going to cup his wrist with my other hand. Okay, that's the first part of the movement. Okay, once again, there we are. Okay, now as I do this, I shuffle in, put my hand on his shoulder and pivot so we're both facing in the same direction. Okay, let me do this again in one movement. Let's move over a little bit. Okay, that's it. One. Do it again. Shuffle. Two. And three. Okay. At this point now, I bring my leg back in an arc and bring my partner into the space I just liberated. Okay. I go down into a deep stance. Uh, my hips are still facing forward, but a bit off to the side. As he comes through, I turn my hips forward, turn him around, bringing the hand up, okay? And I step through. Good, let's move over a little bit, okay? Shuffle in, bring him down, and down. One, one, two. More slowly. One. And in. And. But Sumi Otoshi, which is corner drop. I shuffle in and here is Ten can. He moves forward to continue his attack. I shuffle out towards the right in this case. Bring the hand down. Okay? Taking advantage of the blind spot here. Taking his balance away. Bring my free hand up for anatomy. Okay? To close the window of his mind. I step through, get on top of the arm, and project downwards, okay? So we on one one-handed grab. Okay, he grabs, ten can, and step forward, shuffle over to near me, and step through. One more time. Ten can, hands up, and, and now we start with uh, concentration on strikes. We'll do the shulman, which is bringing the hands and fingers way up. It's as if you're holding something in your hand, a sword, let's say a wooden sword, bringing your hands straight up, piercing the sky, and then cutting straight down. Okay? Breathe in as you go up, breathe out as you come down. Breathe in and up. You can do it the other side, you just change hands. The hand now is back and now is forward, vice versa. Go up and down. Now if you can get a shot of the feet here, we're going to learn this particular strike, the shoulder strike, with an eerie me. Okay? So we bring the hands up, shuffle, and cut. And we go back, bring the hands up, shuffle, and cut. Go back, bring the hands up, shuffle, and cut. And one more time. Cut. That's showman. The other strike attack we're going to learn for this level is ski, which is a punch. Okay? Usually we start learning the punch in a uh, straddling position. Both knees bent, toes pointed forward, um, the hips forward. We bring the hand to the side That's, that we're going to strike with. The other hand in front, protecting the groin, and we bring one hand forward out of the chamber, and the other hand back, and when we get to the target, we twist both hands. So one, two, make 
three. These are bad. Three, four, five, six, seven. Don't overextend your uh, elbow. Eight, nine, and ten. Now we get to handy stance. Okay, and we're going to do um, basically the same type of uh, movement with the feet, an irrigation movement. Okay, and we're going to strike with the front hand. Uh, this is a bit different than what we just did, but as I shuffle forward, instead of keeping the shoulders uh, facing forward and the hips facing forward, I'm going to extend the shoulders a little bit, turn the hips, so they're facing a bit upward at a 30 degree angle. Okay? So we go one. Bring the hands straight up from the hips. Two. And bring the shoulders forward a little bit. Okay? So now we'll continue. We've done the uh, showman strike and the ski strike. Now we're going to uh, work on uh, some falls before we apply the, uh, the showman strike to, uh, to some movement. We're going to do the uh, side break fall. And I like Sean, who does it very well, to come up here in front. Okay? Before we've done the front and back rolls and the, and the back break fall, now we're going to do the side break fall. Uh, let's do it just kneeling on one leg. Okay? He goes down on one leg, the knee is bent, extends the other one, and just falls to the side of the leg that's extended. Okay? Brings the hand down at about a 45 degree angle to the body and strikes the mat. You must remember that you're falling on the side of the body. One more point, one more time, please. Leg out and out. Let's turn, try the other side. Leg out, down, again. Bring the leg out. He's going to do the front roll, and without getting up, he's going to go right into the back roll. Okay, good exercise to practice your front and back rolls. Go ahead. Okay, and back. He starts standing and stays on his knees to complete the back roll. Once again, he stays standing, front roll, turns on his knees and goes back. One more, nice and slow. Pivots on his knees and goes back. Good, that's the combination front and back roll. We're going to do the crossover movement. Okay? Basically, I'm standing in a straddling position. Feet pointed forward, about shoulder width apart. I bring one leg back. Step over with the other, with the instep facing forward. So my legs are a bit crossed up, and I have to bend them to feel comfortable in this movement. And that brings my hips into a forward position. From here, I step out straight into a handy position, nice deep handy position, and bring my hips forward. Okay, let's try it again on the other side, bring the leg back, so I leave the space through which I can step, with the end step facing forward, okay, then I step out, bring the hips forward to finish the movement, one, two, Facing up. Bring the foot back, cross over, hands in front. Okay. Foot back, cross over, do this movement like a showman, but at the last minute you turn your palms out. Extend your hands and your sight very far in a distance, at a distance. Okay? And back. Now we'll continue with um, 
movement exercise with two people. Sambat is going to uh, shuffle in on a near me and strike me on the head with a shoulder. Okay, he has to strike right on, move in. Okay. Not in front here, okay? Make sure you strike right on so you can practice properly. Okay. I'm going to react with the near me with myself. Go ahead and move off to the side. Again, to the side, left right, left right. Now I shuffle in and use the movement of my hips to bring my back foot across so I can avoid the strike. Okay? Again. Leave the hands to your side, just relaxed, okay? So we're in the foot movement. Now we're going to do 10 can, you'll shuffle in. Now we'll pivot, step back, okay? Other side. I'm going to be me here, pivot, and step back, okay? Be me, pivot, step back. The 10 can. Ikkyo and Irimi Nage. Chan. 
First, Sumi the Toshi. Okay. He's going to shuffle it again on the lead. Okay. And I'm going to get it to 10 can. But as he comes in, yeah. I 10 can. Bring my hand underneath. He steps forward to continue his movement. I grab the wrist. Bring it down to the side. Step in. And execute the projection. He shuffles in on the lead. I 10 can. And attack. Two, three. One, two, three. One more time. Comes into strike, shuffles in, bring my hand up, follow up, strike to the face, and down. Okay? Now that's the showman attack, shomenuchi, with the reply was a sumiyotoshi or corner drop. Okay? Now we'll continue with the uh, the Ikkyo and Irimi. Please. He shuffles in. The other one. The other one. That's it. He's going to shuffle in. I shuffle in also with him. Bring my back hand against his back hand. The other hand under his elbow. The thumb under. The four fingers on top. Two on one side of the elbow. Two on the other. One side shuffle towards the front of his body. And extend out. Turn the hips. Bring the hands in front, step in, and I go down on one knee, and pin the leg, sorry, pin the arm to the mat. Okay, right in. Shuffles in, I shuffle in. I shuffle in in front of the body over here. Bring the elbow towards the ear. Extend out through the back leg, pushing it to the mat. Turning the hips. Bring the arm, the arm to the last minute in front of the body. Now I walk in towards him. Push his arm into his shoulder. And I walk out towards the opposite direction to bring it down to the mat. At this point, okay, his hand is on my leg and I control it here at the elbow. Okay? I bring the knee down, slide his arm down my leg, and pin it. I can execute another pin. Good, if required. Okay? That's Ikkyo and Omote. We'll do Ikkyo and Ura now. The same movement. But I step behind, create a triangle with his two feet and my foot, extending out, keeping the body straight, scanning the room with my eyes, bringing him down to the mat. The same technique, but in a more circular fashion. Remember, the hand on the leg, the knee goes down, I just slide down into the pin. Brought him over so you can see. There. Good. Okay, so, thank you. So we've done in, uh, in Shulman, We've done Ikkyo and Sumiyotoshi. Now, last time I come up again because I've forgotten one, which you mean I did. You see, just love it. <laughs> Same attack, it's a shuffling movement. I move behind. As in the previous technique, on a one hand grab, I put the other hand on the shoulder with the thumb behind the neck. Okay. Step back in the neck, bring him in the space I've liberated. Go way down, very deep stance. As he comes through, I turn the hips forward and step through. One, two, and He 
está fazendo? Ah, 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 está fazendo? Same as with the showman, spin him around, move in, and swim in a touch. We've done it previously, on one hand grab. executed with both fingers or all fingers pointing in the same direction and you slide up the hand. Keep the body straight, scan the room with your eyes, and 